Hey everyone, so um, yeah, today I'm doing a um, like a process video to show you how, well how I use anyway, these Cosmo Cricut, I think that's how you pronounce it, it's not going to zoom in, there you go, um, these Cosmo Cricut watercolours, and is it Cosmo? Yeah, I think so, Cosmo. Um, anyway, we found them in um, Hobbycraft, and they, I found everything, I found these Traveller's Notebook inserts, but they didn't have the Traveller's Notebook, so I went online and found one in Germany, and I ordered it online, it came yesterday, and this is it, and it has the, um, like, insert, like, pockets here, and one here, and I test, like, you, with the inserts, it's watercolour, um, like, paper cover with an embossed resist so when you paint over so i don't know if you can see that so it says do more of what makes you happy so you can see that as you paint over these words because it has like a resist on it the watercolor won't stick on there i mean you might have to give it a little bit of a wipe but basically it will reveal what's written on there so i did a couple earlier to experiment and i did these two colors so that one stands out quite well of the bright colours so um, yeah so I um, basically experimented with these they are well they're called swatch sticks and um, it comes with this watercolour brush which I haven't used and I wanted to experiment to see the best way to watercolour the inserts and I kind of figured out well, I've got the hang of it, so I thought I'd do a process video just to show people, um, well, how I use them anyway. I'm by no means an expert at all, so I'm speaking to the masses here. Um, but what I did was I got a piece of wax paper, and you can get this from anywhere. In, like in the UK, you can get from the range or hobby craft. It's by Do Crafts, and I just got A4 wax paper. And I put it on the inside cover to protect the pages on the inside. But there's another use for this, which I'll show you. So, um, okay. I'm thinking I'm going to do similar colours to this. But what I want to show you is how, um, like, from what I've learned, how to blend these colours. Now, <laughs> what I did learn is when you wet the paper, so like you, it's best to wet the paper first. So as you go, just I'll show you how to do it. So you just like brush over a little bit of water. Don't apply this straight on um, because this happens and it doesn't blend. So what I've done is, I shall show you. Okay, let's see. Um, I think I might, yeah, I'll use this wide brush here. So, okay, let's show you. So I dip this into the water, wipe off the excess. And then I'll just um, wet the cover almost halfway down. I don't want to do it all the way down because I don't want it to dry, to dry out. Then I take the colour that I want to use. So in this case, um, okay, okay, let's just use this. So what I did was I um, used this wax paper. You can use the colour palette as well, but I just thought it was easier to do this. So I just put some on here. Then I got my brush so that it's not too wet. Well, use this one, it's wider. Yeah, so it's not too wet. But then you don't want to put too like you don't want to put too much water on there because you don't want it to be um, you know like too oh, what's it faded. You want it to be a really nice bold colour to start. So I did this, and then, like, if you're not happy, if it's not bold enough, just apply some more. It really is about experimenting. Obviously, I'm no expert, <laughs> so don't judge me if you are an expert. Um, I'm literally just experimenting here. So, so I want to create like a a non-break look, and also the brush marks. Thick. Fake brush marks on the edges here. <laughs> yeah, so um, 
get the right bit of an ombre look going. Then I'm going to wet the paper a bit more here. Um, okay, I might go for just experiment. See, see, that's I don't know, I might go for the brighter one. You can blend these, um, just sort of like get your brush and um, just like have a little play with the colors, really. Yeah, I think this one. That's quite. You can actually, as well, if you want to, apply these straight onto the brushes. Which probably works a little bit better. Right on the edges here, I just do this to create that fake sort of light brush mark on the edges here. I'm going to show you actually, if I do apply it straight on like this, I might um, show you what I mean. So that's not too bad. So yeah, that works fine, that's okay. But if you do get this and then you just sort of like do a line so like that, um, as you can see here on a couple of the colours so with this red here, it didn't blend. And this like greeny colour here, it just, it no matter what I did, it didn't blend. So um, yeah, what colour? Okay, so we're going to do orange thing next. So I wanted to create on this one, on the... Um, I have a ton of colours on here and I really love this but I want to um, create more of a subtle ombre look on this one I think. So you see these um, the words, the embossed words here with the resist, what you do is before it dries out, if it does dry out just wet it again and just get your brush and just brush off the, the colour if there is a bit of colour that's stayed on there and then you can get like um, a tissue and just give it a wipe down. I mean, it doesn't really bother me that much, to be honest, but it just creates a sharper look on the words. So, yeah. Right, yeah, so... Um, I love this. Some of these are um, more vibrant than others, because if I use the other end of this one, it's not... I think I use... I just use, use that, sorry, for blending. Um, so it's not very bold. stay on that well so you have to be a bit careful but this whole collection and I'm not being paid to say any of this but um because I literally just found it all in Hobbycraft and I was like really really excited that they had these in um but it's it, yeah it is really good value for money because if you think about how much you would pay for inserts online separately um, and that's just normal paper these have watercolor paper and sketch paper in them so i might go against what i said and just let's see now that probably won't blend now will it oh, yeah, it's not too bad um, Colours. I really like this. Really happy with it. Um, I might just add the blues are really vibrant, so um, let's see. I might just 
So this is where you know you really wouldn't apply it straight onto the to the paper. Um, if you want like a lighter, if it's really vibrant and you want a lighter colour, do it like on set on the in the palette or the paper. And it really is again all about experimenting. Yeah, so um, if you don't want to, if you have like a bit worried about ruining your books because you, you've never done this before, you've never used them before, then like what I did here, I just got a separate piece of watercolour paper and I practised on here and I kind of like, um, sort like practised which colours I like together and blended them. So yeah, just create that little fake brush mark at the edges there. Yeah, I really like how that one's turned out actually. So I don't want them all to be the same. Um, and I might experiment, I've got a couple more, so I might experiment, I might do um, some patterns instead. And also, i tell you what I have got, um, let me see, from the collection I bought the um, resist pen. So I like, I can watercolour the, so I can do some writing or pictures like, so you can draw flowers like this, paint over them and the resist will show up so like the petals, the, the outline of the petals, the watercolour won't stay on there so then you've got this beautiful flower um, so I might try something like that and you can do that inside one of the inserts with um, that has watercolour paper like this one that I've just done here. I don't know if you can, it's more vibrant to me um, than it is on the video at the moment but it might be different when I upload it so um, yeah but so that you can see this is more vibrant here but um, I really love the ombre look so, yeah so this one has watercolour paper insert so I'm going to practice my watercolour in here and I might just practice something like that with a resist pen so um, yeah I hope that helps if you have any other questions or even any advice for me just let me know below um, and I'm going to go and play with these colours on the other inserts. Um, yeah, so I'll leave the links below and enjoy. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Bye.